Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Christian from Berlin. Let's bring the pentatonic minor scale to life today. I also brought the uh, blue scale to life. I'll link it in the description box, creative views of the blue scale. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave a like if you did, helps my channel, makes me happy. Now let's go. Uh, we choose the G minor, yeah, not C this time. We have to choose the G minor pentatonic. What is it? Why should we play it? This is it. And uh, many great solos and uh, riffs have been played a lot by guitarists also in the pentatonic scale. And in, various, uh, in, uh, in, in some styles it's just preferred. And we choose a chord progression, a 2-5 chord progression, G minor 7, and the C7 we play here. Ooh. Can I play this without the root? Yes, I can, because the brain uh, knows exactly um, what this chord is, and so it knows exactly this must be the five, and it completes in your brain the root. We don't have to play it. That gives us an extra note in the thumb, the ninth here, which sounds beautiful. It's still C7, although the display shows E minor 7 flat 5, uh, which it would be without the root. Now let's first uh, play it a little bit up, and then we see if we can make something of it. Oh, oh, oh nice. Okay, just to get familiar with it. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of slip notes. And you see already, I did something which sounds very good with scales. You, you play them in one direction and the energy is rising within the scale and then you fall down, kind of gives it a release um, uh, effect. And uh, since we only have this scale, we got to make, you know, tickle out every, um, every trick there is. I'll just make you suggestions. What was that, Christian? Tell us. Yeah, wonderful uh, means to make a scale interesting is not just playing note by note up, but in groups of three, next note, next note, Next note, you see it's a, like a staircase. Should we try it again and give it another push down? Yes. Sounds already nice, the hearts are melting, everybody already warmed up. We have kind of the same trick down. Um. Again, in context. Ah, oh, you get the message already, eh? Same thing, sounds great. Energy goes down and I do a little um, twist up.
I can also start from different notes. Starting on uh, from the perspective of G on the fourth, it's a very special interval. It has a lot of emotions, the, the fourth from G. Very special sound. Again. <laughs> you can start from, uh, uh, yeah, why not try it? Make it an exercise. Uh, By chance, I hit uh, another um, uh, 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 popular line. Here, I I touch the blue note of the the flat five. It's not yet the blue scale, but um, we can do that without closing um, the the sound of the of the pentatonic scale. Hold on. First, let's have a look at what I played here. Here. This is the basis. The thumb is the basis. And one. So, we, again, we go up a, a staircase. A ladder, if you want so. The pentatonic ladder. They probably have a lot of those in the Pentagon. Yes, that was one great German uh, example of the German humor. They probably sing out loud the pentatonic in the Pentagon <laughs> every morning together. Okay, uh, back to business here. Wonderful. Oh, yeah, we come to that later again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, we can also use the pentatonic um, notes. Uh, like, we do, don't have to play just one. We can open up a little drone sound here. With this. Makes it more intense. That's what we want. be a solo for Pink Floyd. Maybe they call me. Okay. Oh, same thing. Uh. Ah, no, no, no. That would be blue scale. <laughs> yeah. Just double time. For, before we had... And now we do... it. You could repeat it here. Yeah, gotta try every trick. Ooh. 
These elements you both know, just faster than you practiced it until now. Same, everything just uh, not double time, but instead of eight in sixteenth note. And then we grab the nearest uh, drone we can uh, we can uh, reach. Great for emotional sound, eh? this little drone in between. Also just built with pentatonic, minor pentatonic notes. Now ha have a look at this. You put your thumb here, and this is great because when you start here, you have the minor third on top with your, with your fourth finger. Oh, you heard this lick so many times without realizing. So, the line we are following is energy. And we follow down here. Here you play these 16th notes. Okay. Drone with the octave on top, not the seventh. Oh. So there was a, there was a, a, a variation. What did I play? Also, a very little, is, you cannot even call it a lick, but, yeah? Oh, heard it so many times. So, okay, uh, great to have this in mind, like, oh, hold on. You, yeah, you got it. It's right. I played, I played in an octave. That's when the when the guitarist puts on his distortion pedal. We have nothing of that kind. We have no echo, no distortion, no delay. Uh, we just have the keys. And so, if we want some extra strength, um, we can uh, accentuate uh, scale notes with octaves. Um, Wonderful line. I told you um, all the uh, in between little things already. Every everything is a little a variation, but you you must get the essence rather than note by note. Improvise with it with these elements. And then leave a little bit of space.
all emotional now. And if you if you're becoming better. Only that. For practice reasons, you just uh, go in between here and here. Okay, now now we cheat just a little bit because when you hear um, like people playing solos uh, with a pentatonic scale, what they sometimes do is they sometimes play a blue note to give it a certain little kick. Where against? The blues pianist, he plays the blues scale and sometimes plays just pentatonic. And um, uh, so what we'll, what we'll do now, I hope you will do it with me, is we play the pentatonic scale and just give it a little twitch of the blues, of, of a blues note. So the overall sound stays pentatonic, but there's a little um, twist, a little pinch in the bum. Okay. Let's say again. I'll give you an example. Yeah. So that was that was really sloppy. Sorry about that. You see? Pentatonic? Maybe and so you can maybe this one spread it lightly so otherwise it's blues piano so if you don't want to uh, lose the pentatonic uh, taste then just look maybe Try this one a couple of times. We play a bit of pentatonic. And now we hit it. Can you see how how it sticks out again? That's it. Hmm, <laughs> sexy. I hope you enjoyed this uh, first insight on the uh, uh, G minor pentatonic. If you want to do it in C, yes, I do it in C uh, with the G minor 7, F7 on my Patreon. We do extra and extended stuff that I don't manage in, in a lesson and also bonus stuff. Come and join me. Nice community willing to learn. Thanks for learning. I hope you liked it. Have a good one.